The following program is presented by Chick-fil-A and Bright Star Credit Union. Coral Springs High takes on Monarch High tonight on School Duel. And welcome to School Duel, where the top 20 high schools in South Florida battle it out. Now, the ultimate winners of this academic tournament walk away with a school trophy from Edco, a $1,000 check courtesy of Bright Star Credit Union and Chick-fil-A. So with that much at stake, let's go ahead and take a quick peek at the brackets for this week's game. As you see, the second round game matches Coral Springs High versus Monarch High in what is going to be quite a showdown. The winner between the two schools will be moving on to the quarterfinals. So let's hear it for our two competitors. That's right, but wait, there's more. During the show, each student will compete in the Chick-fil-A challenge. Here, the student with the most correct answers will win Chick-fil-A chicken sandwiches for an entire year. Exciting? Yes. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Our first round is called the warning shot. Here it's school versus school, and each question is worth 10 points. Now any questions answered incorrectly gives the other school a chance to steal. All right, schools, hands on the buzzer and prepare for the warning shot. Your first question deals with capitals. This state capital was named after a gold prospector. Name this capital city of Alaska. Yes, Sophie? Juno. Very good, Coral Springs. <laughs> Let's move on to musical abbreviations. To an audio file, what is the meaning of the abbreviation hi-fi? Yes, Nevin? High frequency. Incorrect, Monarch? All right, we're looking for high fidelity. Let's move on to a question about tools. What scissors for your yard come in lawn and pruning varieties? Casey? Shears. Correct, very good. <laughs> Jobs. You can get this local government job in some states without being a doctor or having any medical training of any kind, which can make finding the cause of a person's death more difficult. Name this city or county job that may hold an inquest to determine cause of death. Stephen? Mortician. Incorrect, Coral Springs. Sophie. Coroner. Yes, very good. <laughs> All right, question on ancient philosophers. Raised in a warrior family, the famous thinker and social philosopher Confucius was born in what country? Yes, Sebastian. China. Yes, very good. <laughs> All right, contracts. Name the type of business contract similar to a rental agreement that allows you to use something like an apartment, a house, a boat, or a car for a period of time, but requires you to give, Casey? Lease. Yes, excellent. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the what am I question brought to you by Extreme Action Park in Fort Lauderdale. This is where our contestants will be given a clue about something or someone and shown a picture that will slowly reveal itself. So, here it goes. Appearing about 68 million years ago, identify the prehistoric creature famed for the plate or frill on its neck. Yes, Sebastian? Triceratops. Very good, excellent. And here's a little something about the Triceratops. They were plant eaters and believed to be about 26 feet long, 10 feet high, and weigh six to 12 tons. All right, next question deals with diseases. You can get one strain of what disease with symptoms like food poisoning if you eat undercooked eggs? Yes, Sophie? Salmonella. Yes, excellent. All right, the law. In a criminal case, it may result in a plea bargain or an outright dismissal of the charges. Name this legal situation that may result, Stephen? Mistrial. Yes, very good. <laughs> All right, concepts. It was instituted in Germany and then by other countries during World War I to reduce the need for artificial lighting. Identify this concept that, since 2007, has been used in the U.S. between the second Sunday, Stephen? Fluorescent lighting. Incorrect, Coral Springs. I'll finish the question. 
since 2007 has been used in the U.S. between the second Sunday in March and the first Sunday in November. Yes, Sebastian. Daylight savings. Yes, very good. All right, fast capitals. What is the capital city of Argentina? Yes, Sebastian. Buenos Aires. Very good. All right, let's move on to music. As a young man, he got his nickname, Blues Boy, from his time as a disc jockey, later shortening the nickname into parts of his stage name. Identify this late master of the blues, famous for naming each of his guitars, Lucille. Sophie? Prince. Incorrect, Monarch? We're looking for B.B. King. All right, fables. In an Aesop's fable, the tortoise and the hare, who lost the race? Casey? The hare. Very good, excellent. Oh, there's my horn, and that means the end to the warning shot round. We do have Coral Springs leading. They have 70 points. Monarch has 40 points, but don't go anywhere because we'll be right back with more School Duel after these messages. In 1973, Chick-fil-A founder Truett Cathy created the Leadership Scholarship Program. Encouraging Chick-fil-A restaurant employees to further their education. Since then, Chick-fil-A has awarded more than $28 million in scholarships. To team members who excel in the classroom, serve their communities. Demonstrate a solid work ethic and possess a desire to lead. So we say, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Truett. It means a lot. Chick-fil-A is the proud corporate partner of the pursuit of higher education. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. First round of action ended with Coral Springs leading. They have 70 points. Monarchs not too far behind. They have 40 points. Now, before we begin the second round, let's go ahead and take a minute to meet this week's competitors from each school. Hey, I'm Sebastian. I'm team captain. I'm a senior. Go Colts. I'm Sophie. I'm a junior. And go Colts. I'm Nevin. I'm a senior. Go Colts. Hi, I'm Salard, and I'm a senior. Go Colts! <laughs> Michael Phelps getting into the zone. Oh, goody. We came here to win. Go Colts! My name is Macy, I'm the captain, I'm a senior, go Knights! Hi, I'm Joe and I'm a junior, go Knights! Hi, I'm Casey and I'm a senior. I'm Steven, I'm a junior, go Knights! Hi, I'm Vanessa, I'm a senior, go Knights! All done! I feel like a superstar. <laughs> yeah. Up next! One minute. Are you guys ready? Oh. Are you ready? Yes. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> And remember, go nice! All right, let's hear it for both schools. And now that we know everyone, let's go ahead and move on to round two, the joust presented by Public Supermarket. Now here's a player from each school competes head-to-head toss-up questions. The winner gets three bonus questions for their school and all questions are worth 10 points. All right, schools, I hope you're ready because it is time to joust. We will have Sebastian and Macy come on down. All right, here's your toss-up question worth 10 points. 
Inventor Elon Musk, musician Dave Matthews, and politician Nelson Mandela were all born in this country, which has, yes, Sebastian. South Africa? That is correct, good job. All right, Coral Springs, we are with you now. Sebastian, go ahead. We are with Coral Springs. The following bonus questions all deal with birthplaces. Your first bonus question, number one, Justin Bieber, Drake, and director James Canada. Sophie. Canada. Yes, very good. <laughs> bonus question number two, Joan of Arc, Jules Verne, and Claude Monet. Yes, Sebastian. France. Yes, excellent. Your third bonus question, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Mozart, and Chef Wolf. Yes, Sebastian. Austria. Very good, excellent. All right, Sophie, Casey, come on down. It is your turn to joust. Here's your toss-up question worth 10 points. Even after four journeys to America, what 15th century explorer continued to insist that he found Asia? Yes, Casey. Uh, Christopher Columbus. Excellent, good job. All right, we're with Monarch. Here we go, the following bonus questions all deal with the 15th century. Bonus question number one. During what historical period did Gilberti create the Gates of Paradise and Donatello create his statue of David? Steven. Renaissance. Yes, excellent. Here's your second bonus question. What fresco by Leonardo da Vinci helped make the number 13 unpopular? Uh, Casey? Um, the Last Supper. Yes, very good. Here's your third bonus question. Name the European war that lasted from 1346 to 1453. Yes, Steven. Under your war. Yes, excellent, good job. All right, we're going to have Nevin and Joe come on down. It is your turn to joust. All right, gentlemen, here's your toss-up question. It's worth 10 points. In the acronym LASER, what does the L stand for? Yes, Joe? Light. Very good, excellent. All right, Monarch, the following bonus questions all deal with electronics. Bonus question number one. In electricity, for what does the abbreviation R stand? That would be resistance. Bonus question number two. Typically, the batteries in a camera do not produce enough current to light a flash. What device stores an electrical charge until you take a flash picture? Steven? Battery. Incorrect, it's a capacitor. Bonus question number three. What is the term for the smallest element in the video display of a computer? Casey. A pixel. Yes, very good. All right, our last two. So Lard and Steven, come on down. It is your turn to joust. All right, gentlemen, here's your toss-up question. It's worth 10 points again. What author wrote The Grapes of Wrath and Of Mice and Men? Steven. John Hines back. Incorrect, Szilard. That would be John Steinbeck. But don't go anywhere, I have another question for you. The home state of the characters in Steinbeck's The Grapes of Wrath, name this Sooner State. Kansas. Yes, Szilard. Kansas. Oh. Incorrect, Steven. That would be Oklahoma. All right, there's my buzzer. That means the end to the joust. We do have a close game. Coral Springs has 110 points. Monarch has 100 points. But don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more School Duel just after these messages. Entry to high school, Broward County Public Schools magnet programs provide extra opportunities and experiences for students in specific fields of study. International Baccalaureate, Military Academy, Montessori, Performance and Visual Arts, Sciences, and many others. The programs are free. Shop early for your child's education. Apply online today at BrowardSchools.com. Broward County Public Schools magnet programs. 
Missing school? You're missing out. Regular attendance equals education, and education equals success. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. Welcome back to School Duel, where local high schools match wits to see who will be this year's School Duel champion. Now, today's game has Coral Springs High competing against Monarch High. Currently, Coral Springs is leading. They have 110 points. Monarch's right behind them with 100 points. It is now time for the rapid fire round. During this round, schools receive a category of questions to answer quickly by themselves. The questions are worth 10 points, and if any questions are answered incorrectly, the other school can steal. Now, since Monarch is trailing, they get to pick their category. And today's choices are starts with G or starts with H. So which category would you like, Monarch? We'll take starts with H, please. Okay, sounds good. All right, schools, here comes the rapid fire. Monarch starts with H. In this category, the answer contains a word that starts with the letter H. Each question is, of course, worth 10 points. And remember, you must answer them quickly or the judge will move you on. So hands on the buzzer and here we go. Starting with 57 Varieties Ketchup Company. Heinz. Huge print on a newspaper front page. Headline. Actor from Rain Man, The Graduate, and Tootsie. Joan of Arc was burned at the stake for this religious crime. Heresy. Lin-Manuel Miranda Broadway hit. Hamilton. Character of myth killed by the poison cloak he got from his wife. <laughs> Judges Joe, go. Hercules. Generic disease that prevents blood from clotting properly. Hemophilia. America's southernmost major city found in Hawaii. Honolulu. Rock of Ages and what a friend we have in Jesus, for example. As a verb, to swing a baseball bat hard, as a noun, an incompetent writer. Hit. All right, good job, Monarch. You got through all of your questions. You're only missing three questions. So, Coral Springs, do you know the answer to these? Actor from Rain Man, The Graduate, and Tootsie. Yes, Sophie? Tom Hanks. Incorrect, it's Dustin Hoffman. Next question, Rock of Ages and What a Friend We Have in Jesus, for example. Nevin? A him. Very good. And as a verb, to swing a baseball bat hard, as a noun, an incompetent writer. We're looking for hack. All right. Coral Springs, it's your turn for rapid fire. Your category starts with G. In this category, the answer contains a word that starts with the letter G. Each question is worth 10 points, and remember, you must answer them quickly or the judge will move you on. Hands on the buzzer, and let's begin. Starting with Green Creature, featured in many car insurance commercials. Gecko. Union Civil War General, who later served two terms as president. Grant. What so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last. Gleam. A medieval group of skilled artisans similar to a labor union today. Guild. The rate at which a road slopes upward or downward. Gradient. A judge's ruling preventing any comments to media about a court case. The late Jerry Garcia's band known for their devoted fans. Uh, Grateful Dead. A traditional flat-bottomed rowing boat in Venice. Uh, a gonzala. Repeat it. Uh, a gondola. Uh. Actor who plays Leonard in The Big Bang Theory. Hockey player who was nicknamed The Great One. Dave Gretzky. All right, Coral Springs, you got through all your questions. You did miss one, two, three. 
You missed a few. Monarch has the opportunity now to steal them. Monarch, do you know the answers to these? What so proudly we hailed at the Twilight's last, Casey? Gleaming. A judge's ruling preventing any comments to media about a court case. That would be a gag order. Next one is a traditional flat-bottomed rowing boat. Yes, Macy? Gondola. Actor who plays Leonard in The Big Bang Theory. Johnny Galecki. Hockey player who was nicknamed the Great One. Wayne Gretzky. Very good, excellent. All right, that buzzer means the end to our rapid fire round. We do have Monarch leading. They now have 210 points. Coral Springs has 170 points, but don't go anywhere. We are just gonna take a short break and then we'll be back for the final showdown. In 1973, Chick-fil-A founder Truett Cathy created the Leadership Scholarship Program. Encouraging Chick-fil-A restaurant employees to further their education. Since then, Chick-fil-A has awarded more than $28 million in scholarships. To team members who excel in the classroom, serve their communities. Demonstrate a solid work ethic and possess a desire to lead. So we say, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Truett. It means a lot. Chick-fil-A is the proud corporate partner of the pursuit of higher education. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. going as Monarch High is holding on to their lead over Coral Springs. Current score, 210 to 170. It is now time for the final showdown. This is the last round. Schools go against each other again with toss-up questions, but this time these questions are now worth 20 points. And just a reminder, if a question is answered incorrectly, the other school can steal. This is for a spot in the quarterfinals. It is time for the final showdown. First question deals with actresses. Her mom, Debbie Reynolds, starred in Singing in the Rain. Name this late actress who played Princess Leia in the Star Wars, yes, Sophie. Carrie Fisher. Percentages, 36 is what percentage of 300? Sebastian. 20%. Monarch. Joe. 12. Experiments, during a scientific experiment, what do you call any variable that does not change during an experiment, Macy? Um, the, de the independent variable. Incorrect, Coral Springs, Szilard? Constant. Chariots of fire. In Greek mythology, the sun was personified by the god Helios, who drove his chariot toward what cardinal direction every day? Sophie? West. Elements. Give the atomic number of the newly named element, Oganesson, currently the heaviest element in the periodic table, One, Nevin. 118. Nevin, say it again. 118. Languages. What language gave us the word ramen to describe a type of noodle? Sophie. Jap Japanese. TV hosts. Stephen Colbert took over for this longtime host of The Late Show. David Sophie. Letterman. Universities. Its sports team play in the ACC. Name this college located in Blacksburg with burnt orange and maroon colors and the nickname, Sophie? Clemson Tigers. Incorrect, Monarch. Name this college located in Blacksburg with burnt orange and maroon colors and the nickname, Hokies. It's Virginia Tech. Music. He won the American Music Award for New Artist of the Year in 2016 on the strength of his solo album, Mind of Mine. Name this young British singer and former member of One Direction. Salard. Harry Styles. Incorrect, Monarch. Yes, Macy? Liam Payne. Incorrect, it's Zayn Malik. Root words, 
If bradylexia is a slow reading and bradyglossia is a slowness of speech, what is bradycardia? Yes, the large. Slowness of breath? Incorrect, Monarch, Macy. Slow heartbeat. Inventions. Johannes Gutenberg is known for what invention? Casey. The printing press. Fast Capitals. What is the capital city of Costa Rica? Sebastian. Managua. Incorrect, Monarch. Steven. Columbia. Incorrect, it's San Jose. The circulatory system. What structures between the chambers of the heart keep blood moving in just one direction? Judges, Nevin? Arteries. Incorrect, Monarch. Casey? Valves. Spelling. Adjective relating to or characteristic of birds. Spell avian. Sebastian. A-V-I-A-N. President. Oh, that sound brings an end to the second round school field game. As Coral Springs goes on to winning, they are ending with 310 points. But Monarch, you played a good game as well. You're ending with 290 points. Now, Coral Springs, this win is putting you into the second round. So congratulations. All right, and great job to everyone. This also brings an end to the Chick-fil-A challenge, and today's winner is, where's my drum roll? Casey. Congratulations, Casey. Yes, congratulations on your Chick-fil-A chicken sandwiches for an entire year. Now, at this time, we'd like to thank you at home for watching, and of course, all of our sponsors for making School Duel possible. Now, don't forget to check out our website. It's schoolduel.tv, where you can find out more about the schools involved. You can watch past shows and even compete for prizes at home. Please remember to use hashtag SchoolDuel to contact us through social media. But most importantly, make sure that you tune in next week to SchoolDuel, Thursday at 7 p.m., as Ransom Everglades takes on John Ferguson High in another great second round match. Goodbye and thanks for watching. School Duel was brought to you by Chick-fil-A and Bright Star Credit Union.